Hello folks, this is what we're dealing with today. I've already got the spices mixed up and we're making southern fried chicken. And I have a helper today who is actually the inspiration for this channel. And he's right here and he's going to help me make it. What's your name? Brady. Hi, are you excited about making some yeah. chicken with granddad? Yeah. Okay, let's get started, okay? Okay, folks, today we're making one of my favorite foods, and this one I would call a healthy food. And again, I've got a great helper with me, the inspiration for my channel. And this, when I lost weight before, I had lost 80 pounds, and it was by eating foods like this. All we're going to be using is extra virgin olive oil, and I've got it in an atomizer spray bottle. This is the best one I've ever used, and I've gone through three of them. Uh, thank you to my daughter Melanie for recommending it. But we're going to take some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're going to dip them in some flour. Then we're going to dip them in some scrambled eggs. You don't need to know how to whip up a couple eggs. Then we're going to put the spices in. You want to dump those in for Granddad there, Brady, and give me a hand? There we go. So... I'm going to put what I put in, what the ingredients are. I never measure, but I've used a cup and a half of flour uh, for the coating. And these are, they, I mix this up every time I make it. So whatever, whatever spices resonate for you. And what I can say is the main flavors for the cup and a half of flour, use a tablespoon for things like the garlic and uh, the, whatever flavors you like. But I'll list what I put in in the comment section. So I'm gonna get Brady to give me a hand mixing this stuff up and then I'll be right back, okay? Brady's gonna get started, okay? Okay, folks, I have a great helper helping me do this. So I'm gonna show you how to do the first one. And again, whenever you're handling chicken, always wash your hands, right, Brady? Right. So the first thing we're gonna do is take one of these. You can use Emily, I like, you can use bone in. I, I prefer the boneless and whatever kind of chicken you want. You dip it in the flour, dip it in the egg, and then there's the mixed seasoning that Brady stirred up for me. And then I put the chicken in there. And then for your dry hand, you can use to put some flour on. See what I'm doing there? Put some flour on. Then I'm going to go with my wet hand, flip it over, make sure that it's coated really good. And then the other step I forgot, so we're going to stop there right now. Okay, folks, the thing I forgot was make sure that you spray the bottom of your pan. Make sure you put, spray it really well. Okay, so now I'm going to continue. And I'm going to take that piece of chicken, make sure it's well coated has flour all over it and then just lay it in to the pan like that and then I'm going to continue that for all the rest of them okay Gosh. now the next step that I do and again I'm going to show you another method uh, I'm going to continue with the rest but I want to show you what the process is the important part is to make sure that you spray it now if you don't have an atomizer what you can do is uh, use any, like olive oil, any healthy oil, not canola oil. Goal of this is to eat healthy food. Avocado oil, spray cans, they sell at Costco. And now let's continue on with the rest. As I said, I was gonna do it before, so sorry for the interruption, but just repeat this step for all of them. And make sure that they're not touching each other as you put them in. Okay, I just want to show you another way. So I showed you just one piece of chicken, but usually I use a big bowl and I'll put about two or three pieces in. Uh, it just makes it, fat, makes, it, makes it go faster. So the, the next step will be, I'm just going to finish this up with Brady and then we're going to spray. So the next step, folks, is to set your air fryer at 375 and then the cook time, I will show you. I like to start the first cook at six minutes. Start. I know you see a lot of videos about heating up the air fryer beforehand. Trust me, I've made this a 
gazillion times. And the healthy part about this, it's cooking in the air fryer. You saw I only put some squirts of olive oil on it. It's not frying in deep fat. Um, and that's going to taste good. Actually, I like it better than uh, store-bought. So we'll be back once this is done and we're ready to start the next step. Okay, folks, so bear with me here now because I've just they've just finished. So what you want to do when they come out is use your atomizer again. And any white spots that you see, just give them a spray. And you notice I didn't spray the bottom. That's because as the chicken's cooking, all the oil's going to drain down. We'll spray those again after we flip them, which we're going to do right now. And I, I typically use a fork. I find it's easier, and I don't want to get the batter off of it. So I'm just going to do that, and then we'll continue. So here's what it looks like after I flipped. And you notice there's going to be some white spots on it. So again, I don't have to repeat it. I've already showed you how to do it. Just give them a spray to make sure that all the white spots are covered. Then we're going to put them back into the air fryer for, I'm going to say, seven minutes, based on the dumbness when I flipped them. And remember, whenever you're cooking chicken, always check the temperature. Okay, folks, this is what it looks like when it comes out. I'm just going to let that cool off for a little bit. Then we're going to cut it. And Brady, how would you like to do a taste test of it when it cools off a little bit? Okay, and then Brady will taste it and let us know how it is. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. I just cut one in half. And we're going to wait for that to cool off good so that Brady can taste it. Through the magic of photography, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to have my grandson, Brady. Um, would you like, you, you said you'd like to taste it. Yeah. Okay, have a taste. Yeah, have, have a look at granddad. How's it taste? Good. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And folks, there it is. Southern fried chicken, healthy, done in the air fryer. I know they're thighs, but I, I love chicken thighs. If you want to use breasts, it's just as good. Do you want to say something else? Oh, and oh, and that, that's my grandson, Brady, and he's seven years old now. And again, for two years, he was the inspiration for this channel. So... Thank you, Brady. And everybody, if you like the video, they're going to be more like these. I'm going to get better as I go along and learn. I tried to make this 4K, but Microsoft account took a little bit too long. And I want to... Actually, I haven't even uploaded this one, so I'll figure that out. But if you like the videos and the content and, and my new intro that I filmed today with my walk in the park of what's going to be on there, then please like and subscribe and know that I'm going to get better as I go along. Thank you, and Jamie, signing off.